Welcome back to SNG Toys! I am so excited to share to you some Jurassic World Dino Tracker Dinosaurs and Jurassic World Dominion Dinosaurs today. I will be sharing the scan codes as per usual. So please stay tuned and get your Jurassic World app ready. Alright, um, so with no further ado, let's get started. Let's get cracking. Um, um, we'll do this first, yeah? So this one is a Diablo Ceratops. With a collar as well, it's just fitting. <laughs> the name is just fitting for this dinosaur. So here is the level of, of aggression that it can do. It shows you that it can twist its head by pulling the trigger over here. Um, yeah, so let's, um, let's open this up. It's a very, very unique color scheme with that aggressive, diabolical look of the Diablo Ceratops. All right, so here he is out of the box, so it's missing its tail. So certainly it should be inside the box. Okay, it's it's tightly packed in there, so I have to give this a good, a good rip. I might need to cut this thing free, or let me see if I can do it in a much more efficient way. Oh, just rip it off from the back, off the plastic, and there he is. Um, I think that's all there is to it. There's a manual inside as well, but we're not gonna bother with that. Um, but yeah, let me just show you anyway. So what you will get. So you have uh, you have a manual right here with the instructions on how to assemble it. Of course, you know you know how it is. It's just um, easy snap on, and then um, of course for the battery, you can actually replace the batteries like most of these uh, figures. Um, yeah, that's how it is. This is the manual at the back. Just basically snapping it on and the action trigger right there. All right, let's see how this one looks with the tail actually bolted on. Yep, easy enough. It just clicks right in. Let me see, do I have it the right way? Yeah, that's it. There we go. So it's got a nice. Um, two-tone, I would say, or three-tone color. So it's got sort of like a brown color going on uh, from his belly up to his chin. And then just mostly blood red at the back and, and head and with a little bit of like, I think this is brown or almost like grayish um, accent. And of course he has about two, four, six horns and yeah, those massive horns at the top and medium-sized horns uh, right above um, his eyes and two horns poking from his cheek all right just to um, see what it does so it's got a certain level of aggression when you try to pull the trigger one way and pull the trigger the other way it's just Still sit wherever you actually pull the trigger. All right, so it makes that crazy kind of noise. Um, so just with the detail, uh, I would just like to discuss some of the detail. Um, so it's got some nice detail over um, his ties. You can see the folds um, from his skin and some folds over the shoulders as well. Um, there's nice creasing uh, from his neck. Um, down to his belly. Um, also, so he's got those nice um, detailing um, or overlay from his eyes and also um, across the forehead right there. It's got some nice, how many um, small horns that we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably seven on each side, so a total of 14. So it's a pretty nice, aggressive looking carnivore. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so just like to uh, show you the backside um, a little bit of creasing right around the back of his neck and some 
dark pointy tip. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, not much detail on the fingernails or or the, or the nails from his foot. Uh, yeah, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's got a it's got a nice rubbery feel from the lower beak. Everything else, yeah, everything actually the head, like the, the head the head is made out of. Um, I would say rubber from like the whole face situation. It's 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 very soft to touch rubber, um, but from the neck um, down to his body, it is made of uh, plastic. But yeah, it's got the nice touch. I, I like like how they spend the details um, on making this um, rubber face or rubber head instead of like full plastic. But yeah, it's, just, it's a very nice, very nice addition to our existing collection. So let me just um, set him aside over here and let's move on to... Um, I'll probably do this more as Intrepidus next. It's, it's, it's a really interesting creature right here. Right? I think we have to Intrepidus... more Intrepidus right here, so we got this. Um, other colorway, so we got this more meaner, much more um, predator looking colorway. It's almost like a camo. Okay, let's open them up. Make sure that we don't cut ourselves. Easy enough. Just oh, by the way, I'm so sorry, guys. I almost forgot. Did I miss? Giving you the scan code for the Diablo Ceratops. By the way, here it is. Just make sure that um, if you don't capture it properly, just pause the video and you should be able to scan it directly from your mobile devices. And just go ahead and go nuts and discover this dinosaur from your from your app. All right. Okay, so the Morus Intrepidus. So, from my brief research, the Morus Intrepidus is actually a uh, Tyrannosoid or something like that. But it's it's uh, I, I might have been I might be pronouncing um, uh, it wrong or uh, I'm mispronouncing it. Um, but what I believe is is the Morus Intrepidus comes from the family of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, meaning they share almost um, similar DNA um, as far as as you can see the structure of everything with the um, with the, um, with the big legs and short arms and of course the um, the facial features of course um, so it shares a little bit of, of the Tyrannosaurus Rex when it comes to its overall appearance so um, as far as the detailing goes so this is a very very aggressive um, color scheme as you can see this is like a reminiscent of of, um, of um, what do you call that uh, da -da 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 -da, of the Indo Raptor it's very reminiscent of that colorway although it's not quite but yeah you kind of like have that kind of vibe not like the dark dark color tone almost like a um, a camouflage so it's got that um, white specks on his legs all the way going up to his head and a little bit of like um, red camo effect going on so it's got a very aggressive um, backside as well as you can see it's got like this double ridge situation going on around here so it starts from the head all the way to um, his back and all the way down to his tail so it's got that sort of like separation of this sort of like ridge or I don't know what they're trying to accomplish here but maybe this is supposed to be some sort of spikes or um, almost like a scale you know what I mean um, it's got that very aggressive um, look into um, to, into his face with those sharp teeth um, basically it's just it, this is just that giveaway that this is of course a carnivore 
Um, it's a very aggressive looking dinosaur, so you can move the heads. Um, you can move the head up and down, a little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of rotation in there. You can actually rotate it all the way around. And yeah, just, yeah, it's just how wide the mouth opens. Um, at the, from the belly, um, there's nothing much to write home about. Um, it's very basic. Um, it's just a, it's just a very mean and aggressive looking dinosaur. Almost like, um, I would say, rather than, now, now that I'm looking at it and now that I'm thinking about it, this, he actually looks more a lot like a raptor rather than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, it's just based on my um, very basic observation. So, um, okay, before I forget, yeah, here is the scan code for this very exciting Morris Intrepidus. Just make sure that you capture this or pause the video um, so that you'll be able to scan it directly from your mobile phone. All right, let, let me set him aside. And um, yeah, just to get this out of the way, it's the same, it's the same dinosaur. It's just a different color scheme. So this is still a Morris Intrepidus, right? So this is just a very uh, different take on it. It's a very um, unique color scheme. So it's got that green, almost like a mint, mint green to to an orange, almost like an orange overlay uh, from from the side all the way to his tail. It's almost like a full orange compared to. Um, almost like just an overlay from, from this previous Morris Intrepidus. So it's got a full orange tail. And um, yeah, so on his face, you can see this orange detailing as well. Orange specks um, strewn right across his face. I don't know why I'm, uh, this one doesn't open his mouth. Apparently maybe this is just a, a manufacturing defect, I would, I would assume. I'm not quite able to open his mouth, as you can see there. Might have been a... Ah, oh, okay, so I just have to really just force it open. So it's, yeah, so it's just really, really tight. And um, yeah, just have to open his mouth like that. Yep, it's a very interesting color scheme as well. Yep, and last but not the least, here is his scan code. I assume it's gonna be the same as the other one anyway. Um, other than maybe it will present a different color scheme, but yeah, I will, I will try to scan them all later just for kicks All right <clears throat> All right next is a Herrerasaurus From the Dino Tracker series uh, I'm not quite familiar with the Herrerasaurus um, So I don't know what you know what what family this guy came from um, see what action can do so yeah it's just bobbing of the head it's very basic very basic action just bobbing of the head up and down and um, yeah it's a very yeah very classic looking dinosaur as well um, it's just have a very muscular lean or toned toned body you can see the muscle detail on his back legs you see that's very like almost like a cut um, so this this would give me an idea that this dinosaur runs really fast because of like all the muscle fibers that you can see from the detailing here but yeah I'm, I'm gonna go through um, Google search later on and see uh, what kind of dinosaur this is or what family but by the looks of it I would assume that yeah, it's hard to tell. I would always go with a raptor or a Tyrannosaurus Rex family. All right. All right, here is the scan code for the Herrera Saurus. Okay, let me just make sure that I pull everything out so that you can scan it properly. All right. You guys are happy. Let me just set this guy aside and let's open up our final dinosaur for today which is t 
deep. Stegosaurus. Of course, the classic all time Stegosaurus. All right, let's go. We got that um, tail whipping action. It's a side to side attack as per the box. Um, there is a tracking gear included. Um, yeah, I haven't seen that. Tracking gear included. Uh, that'll be interesting. Let's see if there is actually any tracking gear, but I'm not able to see it from here. Maybe it's behind. It's, maybe it's behind that um, plastic covering, but yeah. So there should be a tracking gear included. So that is an interesting piece that was added in here. Okay, let's open this one up. Okay. All right, so, oh, there it is, yeah. So the tracking device is actually right there. So I'm up. Need to open this one up from behind. Yeah, it's that one. So look at that. Yeah, it's a very nice piece. This is a. Um, this material is made out of rubber, as you can see. It's very, it's very flexible and a little bit stretchy. Yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll put this on later, but we'll review the dinosaur itself first. So it's got that. So the um, the entire body, I would say, um, including the head, is made out of. Oh no no. So so the body is made out of plastic. The legs are made out of plastic. Tail is made out of plastic, but the head is actually made out of rubber. And all the all the spines or the scales of the back, they are all flexible flexible rubber. So this is a very interesting color scheme. Um, so usually we get um, just your typical green or gray um, stegosaurus color, but this one is actually, the, the whole body is almost like a white cream um, color scheme, as you can see here. So it's almost like a dirty white color scheme with with a lot of like, um, like there's very subtle details, as you can see, some darking, the, the, some dark colors that are spread out across his body, almost like um, some really good undertones or under the skin. And you got this gray splatter across his uh, across his back, and of course the green the green scales at the back, and with some gray splatters over there. Um, yeah, it's very basic. It's a very basic stegosaurus. Nothing much to write home about this, but let me just um, see. So if you press this one, so it's got that very mild whale. Well, it depends on how hard you press on on the button. So it will give you that amount of intensity of tail whipping. Yeah, and um, you can also press it from the other side. So on the other side, if you press on it, it's almost does some sort of rotation rather than a side-to-side -side, um, spin. Oh, sorry, it was just an actually just an up and down motion, but a little bit of a little bit of twisting right over this. Just not just a straightforward um, up up or down. So it kind of twists depending on on how you press it. I don't know. Maybe if we combine the presses all together, what kind of action it will do? Yeah, it does. Some sort of like a combined whip and um, up and down motion. So it's really, it's really an interesting piece right here. Um, so let's try to put on the tracker. Um, so it should. Huh, let me let me make sure that I'm putting it on properly. So it actually just sits right on top of the scales. Probably have to. Uh, Put it right here, maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. So yeah, it just sits right there. Let me just show you guys, yeah. So just make sure that you fit it on properly, or maybe the other way around. <laughs> yeah, this can be tricky to put on. Um, 
Yep. Oh, okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. All right. And then you just tighten the belt up like so. And then there you go. Just like a just like a saddle. It kind of reminds me of um, the scene from the Jurassic World Dominion series, wherein they're kind of like taming the um, the Parasaurus office like uh, like a wild horse, like by, back in the old West Wild Wild West um, era. But yeah, so this is a Dino Tracker. It's very neat. It's a very it's a very interesting uh, piece of equipment. All right. Um, okay. So this is supposed to have a scan code as well. I'm just trying to locate it. Maybe I have covered it with the um, uh, with this armor. Let me let me have a look. There should be there should be a scan code here. Let me just try to remove it if I can. All right. The scan code. Uh, it's very interesting. I don't. <sighs> I see. Do you, you guys see where the scan code is for this one? Okay, let me just check the box really quick. Yeah. You know? So this is a um. This is ah okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. So it says here uh, that you can pull one of the um. One of the um, scale to actually expose the scan code. So I'm just wondering what, oh, there it is. It's very, very tricky. That is so nice. That is a very nice touch. So it's actually hidden um, in one of the scales over here. So here's your scan code, everyone. Make sure that you scan it and maybe I have it upside down. Like so. All right, that is that is some good stuff over there. So let me just line these guys up um, so that you guys can see the whole enchilada. Okay, let me just adjust it because I don't think the camera is actually capturing everything like I intended it to. Here you are. Here are our latest collection let me let me know what you guys think let me just put his um, tracker back on it's just easy to put on just make sure that everything just lines up from his spine or scale or whatever you ever you want to call it here you are I'm gonna get uh, closer Closer shot of it. Let me just um, move my camera. Let me make sure that I disattach it from. All right, here we are, guys. So here are the close-up look for our latest collection. Let me know what you think, or if you have one of these dinosaurs on your collection. Let me know what you like or don't like about it or if you are planning to look and get one of these let me know i am really digging that um dino tracker uh attached to the stegosaurus this might fit um some of similar size stegosaurus that i have hopefully i'm gonna try it out um but yeah here we are um yeah that's about it um thank you guys for joining me um, and um, hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you all soon thank you so much you guys have a good one see you later